sort of the first one is the control age function that is essentially your classic control F with a few more add-ons. So you can sort of search for highlights, you can do case specific searches, uh, sort of wholesale replacements of certain words, provisions, rather than sort of one at a time, I can do that wholesale. That's when that really comes in handy, particularly when you're dealing with documents that are sort of in the hundreds of pages. If you have a new defined term, it's easier to amend it uh, wholesale across all instances rather than doing them individually, but it doesn't work in all cases. So we can play demo too, we can give a good example of that. So I'm using um, a good old friend from private practice days called the prospectus. This is, anyone who have looked at one knows that these are hundreds of pages in length. And here's specific to securitizations that we call the capital stack, we see class A notes as a group APF. And if I've been asked to split the capital stack to class A1 and class A2, presumably is a simple fix, but I should be able to sort of do a wholesale amend. So I'll check, first of all, how many instances do I have? We've got 131. Okay, that's not something I want to do sort of one by one. So I'll use the control H function that allows me to sort of wholesale replace every instance of class A notes with class A1 and class A2. Great, so we're going to replace all. It's called 131, hit okay. But immediately, I can already tell I've sort of missed the first instance. We're now off to a good start. But if I scroll through, I can see, okay, we've got sort of it's done with this post, but I'm missing the word B from the class in two. Grammatically, doesn't really work to do that individually. I'll probably fix that by the way that I input the information, but that's already prompted by a mistake. Um, that one seemed to work fine. Look at the next few others. Look at another example where the grammar really doesn't lend itself well as I sort of want to include or in the second instance. So we can pause the video there, please. So we were hoping to be sort of saving us time for the manual process. Already I can tell that I do at the end of the day start to go through each instance, check that it works with the grammar. It might save in time for the half of the cases, but if I met with 131, that still leaves quite a few that I need to check manually, go through, make sure the grammar works. So again, it's you can tell that <clears throat> this was created to fix a problem that maybe other industries face, but it's obviously a post fact fix that doesn't really alleviate the problem that it wants. So you'd sort of need some sort of smart tech tool to help you do the easy uh, grammar fixes so that you can, you know, wipe that change through the document a lot easier. So fit for purpose, but not every time. It sort of only takes us halfway. So I personally would love to see some tech that will save a, a poor junior lawyer in securitization the time that it takes to sort of do those definitional changes.